friends. Here is the book that Isabella chose this morning at our morning meeting. This is called Magnificent Monarchs. Aren't those beautiful butterflies? This is written by Linda Glazer and illustrated by Gay Holland. And these pictures are actually artist pictures. Look at that illustrator did such a beautiful job with these drawings and colorings didn't they? It almost looks real. I bet you this is going to be a nonfiction book. I bet you this is going to help us learn about monarchs. Let's see. Look what I found here in these weeds. A shiny white egg stuck on a leaf. A tiny monarch caterpillar pushes her way out. Am I soft and wiggly friend? She eats and eats the milkweed leaves. She grows and grows until... She grows right out of her small tight skin. She now has a bigger, looser skin. She can more, she can, she eats more and more milkweed and then she grows right out of her skin again and again and again. She's getting bigger and bigger in her skin. She sheds her skin and grows new skin. How neat is that? Ozzy's mommy was sharing with me, her, she has a milkweed plant in their yard, and she was sharing the um, caterpillars on her milkweed plant, and she's going to be showing us when they turn into butterflies, too. So that's pretty neat, isn't it? This book goes right along with Ozzy's house. Now she finds a safe place in the shade and hangs upside down like a jay. Oh, well, we were talking about Josiah's J today. Is that the right way, Josiah? I wonder. There's a couple other little bugs on this milkweed, too, and a bee. Ozzy's mom showed me ladybugs on her milkweed because we were learning about ladybugs. Look, at here's a bug hiding right up here. What beautiful illustrations. Now she, oh, I already read that part. Sorry. She sheds her skin once more and look, a chrysalis has formed. My little friend is safe inside. She stays in there for days and days while her whole body changes in wonderful ways. Yeah, there's the ladybugs like Ozzy had and like we've been learning about. Neat. When she comes out, she's not fat or wiggly, she became she, she's become a monarch butterfly with magnificent wings. Now she's ready for an amazing journey. What do you think that word journey means? A magnificent journey. Huh. When you come across a word, friends, in a book that you might not know what it means, sometimes it's helpful to read on and see if it tells us what journey means. So let's turn the page and let's see if we can figure out what that word journey means, okay? It's autumn. She must not get cold. She quickly heads south for a warm winter home. Oh, so journey must mean like travel or fly somewhere far. This monarch must be from up north. And it flies down south so it can stay warm. We're pretty warm here in Florida. I wonder if our monarchs have to journey also. It's a good question, huh? Something we could put on our wonder wall. She flies day after day and sips nectar from flowering weeds on the way. Again, you guys, look at those beautiful illustrations. This illustrator is very talented. She meets other monarchs, all heading south. They gather like tan and orange leaves, resting a while on butterfly trees. 
Oh, wouldn't that be so cool if we could see a butterfly tree filled with monarch butterflies? Oh, how awesome that would be. On and on my little friend goes, flying thousands of miles to Mexico. Mexico is not Florida. What an amazing flight for a little one so thin and light. Sorry for my dog, dog barking dog. It's Thursday. On Thursdays, the um, people come to do the yards in where I live. She doesn't like them being in our, our yard. But she's also deaf, so I can't yell at her. I just gotta hope she'd be quiet. She's quiet soon. Millions of mar monarchs gather here where all their great grandparents come last year. They all rest close together, staying warm until spring, and my little friend starts back north again. Okay, so she was from the north. We just figured that out. And she went all the way to Mexico. Mexico must have a lot of monarchs if they all go there. I want to find a video about that. Maybe that could be our science next week. Here she finds young milkweed plants. She lays her eggs at last. So now, this she started off as an egg, and now she's laying eggs. The cycle begins again. <gasps> Soon a wiggly caterpillar pushes out of the egg, a tiny new life, an amazing new friend. Look at that, boys and girls, starting all over again, she's coming out of her egg getting bigger. Remember, they're going to shed their skin, get big and big. And then this book at the back has a lot of information. If we had certain questions, we might be able to find the information there. Here's the life cycle of a monarch butterfly. First, it's an egg, then a caterpillar, then it makes its chrysalis, and it becomes a beautiful butterfly. And we learn the word journey. It then journeys to Mexico with all its friends and hangs out in butterfly trees and then goes back north and starts all over again by laying another egg so that we keep having butterflies. How neat is that? Um, let's see. So here's my question, guys. Here's going to be the answer to my question. It says, do all my monarchs migrate? And it says, no. Only monarchs born in autumn in North America migrate. They live much longer than other monarchs, about eight months, and fly thousands of miles south to winter in either California or Mexico. And California monarchs overwinter in many sites along the coast, including San Luis Ab Abispo, Santa Cruz, and Pacific Grove. In Mexico, millions of monarchs gather in huge masses that cover the trees and ground in the Oyamel Forest in the Sierra Madre Mountains. They stay there all winter to keep warm. In spring, they fly back north to lay their eggs. This is the end of their long and remarkable life. So our Florida ones might still go to Mexico and California. It doesn't say they stay in Florida. Hmm. I'm still looking to see if it gives me that answer. I'm very curious about that. Huh. So I think I might do some research on that, boys and girls. And I think maybe that could be our science focus next week. Do you think that would be cool? Let me know, okay, at the comment section of after this read aloud. Let me know if that's something you would like to do for science next week. Um, let me know if there's any other questions you might have, okay? Yeah, there's a lot of resources back here. Here's a lot of other information and there's uh, uh, 
address and a website I can go to to find out some more information. So I think I'll do that, okay? We'll see. Maybe that'll be our science focus next week. All right, you guys. Thanks for listening. I love you so much. And remember, tomorrow is fun Friday morning meeting. We won't do any of our stuff here. We'll just chit chat and talk. There's no school Monday, so we really need to get our fill of each other. Miss you guys. Love you. Bye.